Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do something I've been wanting to do for a while, something different and something I myself have been wondering. So is the iPhone 4 slower on iOS 7? A lot of my fans have been asking me to do a video like this and here it is. So in this video, for one, I'm going to show you if iOS 7 is indeed slower on the iPhone 4 on iOS 7 and if it is or whether or not I'll show you how to make it just a little bit faster to ease your frustration. So here on the right is a GSM iPhone 4 6.1.3. On the left is my iPhone 4 CDMA. Notice that the antenna bands are different. However, I'm not mistaken, this isn't an iPhone 4S. First off, here's a boot down test to show you the time. I am gonna speed it up because it is obnoxiously slow. Pretty surprising, the boot down test was equal. They both shut down at the exact same time. As for the power up test, there is quite a difference. Yes, the four on the right with iOS 6 did boot up first. However, it wasn't usable until after the iOS 7 did boot up. For some reason, the slide to unlock does get stuck and you can't even use it. And so the iOS 7 does win in this test, even though the iOS 6 technically booted up first. Now here's a Geekbench comparison with all apps closed. I actually did run these before because they do take quite a while. However, while comparing them, I was pleasantly surprised to find that iOS 7 was a little bit faster. Now I might add that iOS 7 did finish the test much faster. I mean at least three minutes faster than the iOS 6 device. And if I just pull up the first results here, you'll notice that the iPhone 4 and iOS 7 did win by a very large margin, which was surprising to me, and I'll let you know why in just a second. Same thing on the second test. Now the surprising fact for me was that the iPhone 4 on iOS 6 was marginally better while launching applications of various sorts than the iOS 7 device. And when you did close an application, it did shut down better as well. So with all apps closed, we're just gonna go ahead and launch the camera application. Now this one did launch at the same time. However, not always does that happen. Surprisingly, there's a big variation in the camera application. So next, we're gonna launch settings and the iPhone 4 was just a little bit faster. So I mean milliseconds here, but it is noticeable. And when you close an application, you'll notice that the iPhone 4 is less laggy and it just closes more fluidly. So if we go into Safari, this is where iOS 7 shines. There's a new JavaScript enabled browser, so obviously it will be faster. And while loading Apple's official website, which I'm gonna do right here, iOS 7 dominated iOS 6. It's already ready while iOS 6 is still loading. So this is one of the major benefits of iOS 7 on the iPhone 4. You get the new JavaScript enabled browser, which means you get a much more fluid and faster experience. Although it's far from awful on iOS 7, your mileage may vary. Depending on how much things you do have on your device, it could be considerably slower. Now, these are freshly refreshed. They don't have much applications on it, but using these tips, you can speed up your device. So First, go into settings, general, spotlight search, and disable everything. Next is to go into accessibility and enable higher contrast. Now this will kind of diminish the translucency of iOS 7, and in doing so, it will make the transitions a little bit smoother. Also, if you go into background app refresh and disable that, you will notice a considerable difference. So doing these three things, although they may be a little bit of a sacrifice, it's worth the experience you get in iOS 7. It's more fluid, you'll notice that applications close and open much better and a little bit faster, so it definitely is worth it. And lastly, there's two more things you can do to make a little bit of a difference, although not as much. So obviously, you're gonna wanna take a look at how much things you do have on your device. So if it's overloaded, you're gonna notice a significant drop in speed. So clear up a little bit of your device, find what you don't need, remove it application-wise, pictures, videos, and constantly clear out unused applications. So that's it, guys. Have a great day. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.